Spot doesn't usually do unboxing videos. Just so happened though, I got myself a box in the mail today. Picked this up at the post office. Surprisingly, surprisingly the, the small woman that handed me this box came, told me that along with this box came a terrible curse. She did also tell me that it also came with my choice of Frogert. Uh, I ultimately just took the box home. I didn't get the Frogert. Um, on the front, it says Fragile. It says actually Fragile. Um, it's a relatively square box. This box actually comes to us from the Puzzle Box Maker. I'm not sure necessarily what's inside. I have some idea, but I am going to do this on camera in case something happens to the spot. We're going to open this up though. We'll find out what we got inside. I'm just going to grab myself. Oh! Oh! That's odd. That's. Jeez, I hope it doesn't have a curse. I'm going to reach off camera. I'm just going to grab myself. I'm going to grab myself a knife here. Just going to cut the tape. You know, I can't help but wonder if that small woman was right about a curse. Oh well. I mean, how much of a curse could it be? Let's open this up, find out what we got inside. Inside the box is a whole bunch of foam. Little pieces of square foam. Cursed foam? Perhaps. Perhaps this is what she was speaking of. For the sake of that, I'm just going to put the cursed foam to the side, like so. Rosalita is very good at handling foam. She's also really good at handling curses. So she is on site, just in case something goes down, something goes down here. She is here, at least. It appears I've got myself a letter. That's odd. Curses don't tend to come with letters, but nonetheless, let's open this up. Find out what we got inside here. Opening up the letter of, let's see here. It says, thank you. Let me just move this box out of the way here. It says, thank you for your purchase of the Le Marchand configuration. We hope that you will take much pleasure from your puzzle box. The box is a rare item built in the 18th century by French toy maker named Philippe Le Marchand. Uh, Mr. Le Marchand built many fabulous toys in his life, but this puzzle box was one of was his one great obsession. Le Marchand is said to have built over 270 boxes, many of which have never been seen. It is said he made the box not just from wood and metal, but also from human fat of the bodies that Mr. Le Marchand supposedly murdered himself. Le Marchand was never uh, was never caught, but is assumed to be most pro prolific if discovered mass murderers in the history of the modern world. The last scene he was checking into the hotel Darnay's and have never and has never seen checking out. Hotel management finally entered his room and found it empty, except for one of Le Marchand's empty boxes or own boxes sitting on the floor amongst a great deal of blood. I am concerned so far with what I've read. The puzzle box disappeared soon after. This box you purchased came from the family estate of English-born Captain Elliot Spencer. His family said he purchased the box while on a trip to India in 1921. His family told us that Mr. Spencer was captain in the military and participant in World War I. During the war, Mr. Spencer witnessed many great atrocities which caused him to lose faith in humanity and God. After the war, he traveled to India to try to regain some sense of spirituality in, or faith in humanity and found this box for sale at a curio shop. He related to a friend that the owner of the curio shop told him of some special ability the box had, re had to restore a, a person's faith in God or humanity. His friend said he returned to his hotel room after the purchase and was never seen or heard from again. You know, Spot's picking up two, two patterns so far in this. <sighs> I'm going to read on. Uh, Mr. Spencer's friend had hotel management open the room to see if Mr. Spencer was still there. Upon opening the room, the only thing they found was the puzzle box. Mr. Spencer's friend sent the puzzle box to his family, and it was spent the better part of its last century on display under a glass dome in the family library. He recently received it from the family estate to be sold on consignment. We occasionally run across these puzzle boxes 
usually from collectors who no longer wish to have them. The reasons run, run the gamut, but most seem to be glad to be rid of them for a small price. We, in turn, move them along to the next collector. Hopefully, you will keep yours for generations to come. Sincerely, sincerely, the Puzzle Box Maker. Despite what worries Spot might have, I'm going to resume, open, <laughs> going to resume opening up the rest of this box. Also, by the way, inside the envelope, it appears that we've got ourselves a picture of Captain, Captain Elliot Spencer, as you see right there. Elliot Spencer, 1921. It also appears that we've got ourselves a still. Got Pinhead there holding the puzzle box. And up at the top, can you see that? You've got, actually got yourself a, a still, an actual still. Looks like a film reel clip from the movie itself. That's pretty neat. Upon further inspection of the mystery box, Spot continues to pry into the box itself. I've got myself an authentic Lamet Configuration Hellraiser puzzle box, handcrafted. Reaching in again and pulling it out. We've got the actual inner box. Anything else in there? Oh, it appears that we have something else in there as well. Amongst the cursed foam. Let's move the camera up here a bit. Reaching into the box. Better solve what looks to be a base. And let's move the box out of the way. The box out of the way revealing the smaller box. There we go. All right, so let's get this. You know, I really could, I really could go without curses today, but all right, let's open this up. Breaking the seal. Inside, we've got ourselves a triangular base. We've got ourselves. A bubble-wrapped dome. I think Spot's trying. To, I think Spot is putting together the mystery of what is inside this box. We've got ourselves a glass dome. I'm gonna put that right there. By the way, we're visiting what Spot had pulled out earlier. It looks to be a card, a wood base. That is a nice-looking base. that down. And lastly, we have one other thing that is bubble wrapped. Just get this get this undone here. Get the tape cut. If this is what I think it is. Get this cut open. It looks like it's been wrapped with paper and string. It's got some substantial weight to it as well. Can I untie it? Nope. Knife again. Hello, knife. Let's just cut the cord, the, the rope, take off the paper. And we've got ourselves, we've got ourselves a fantastic Hellraiser puzzle box. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Possibly cursed as well, but let's not overlook the fact that it, this is gorgeous. As you can see, I know my cat's even interested too. Don't worry, I don't think it's much in the way of curses. Mild curses, if anything. We just zoom in. As you know, Spot is a huge fan of Hellraiser, huge fan of puzzle boxes as a whole. And this comes to us again from the puzzle box maker. It's substantial too. I have owned several puzzle boxes in the past. Um, one was the build a figure, or the build 
puzzle box that came with the NECA Hellraiser figures. I've, I also had a standalone one that was stone, and also had one that was uh, of a wood design too. This feels a lot heavier than the other one that I have. Um, it looks like it has the brass plates on the sides. The detail on it is fantastic. Of course, you've got the two, three different sided uh, box. You've got the two matching sides, the top, the bottom. My favorite side, the star-shaped side. That is a nice looking box. I'm looking at this and I can feel that a lot of care and and, and uh, detail was put into this box. Now along with the box itself, of course you see other things going on here, there is a stand that you can take the puzzle box and you can prop it on itself like so. Take the glass dome ever so slightly without unleashing any ills to the world. That is a gorgeous piece. I would say of all the things that Spot has collected over the years of memorabilia linked to movies, this by far is awesome. It is awesome. Possibly cursed again, still very, very awesome. What I am going to do, I'm just going to take this off here for a second. Um, again, it's very solid. You can see that it's been coated as well. So even though these individual plates have been put on the, the box itself, um, it is sealed, but it is very, very nice. This is probably by far the closest thing that I have seen to an actual puzzle box from the movies. It is pretty much on part, other than it not moving with the actual buttons and levers, other than it not physically moving, this is the closest thing that I have ever seen to a puzzle box. It is extremely, it is awesome. It is extremely, extremely cool. Oh, love it. What I am going to do is I'm actually going to provide the links down below. I'm going to provide the links to the puzzle box make the puzzle box box makers Facebook page. I'm also going to provide the link to his website. If you are a fan of Hellraiser and you've wanted to get yourself a definitive puzzle box, look no further, my friends, than to order these from him. I am super, super stoked. A little worried about the curses, but still, I'm super, super stoked. Today's spot was having a look at the Hellraiser puzzle box that comes to us from the puzzle box maker. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, if you'll excuse me, I think Spot's going to be, uh, I think Spot's just going to be, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.